What if Frieza became good? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 4? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everyone, it's me, Goku. Welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where Goku G23 does his by daily what ifs on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super. Previously on What If Frieza Has Become Good, we mentioned that Frieza has now arrived to Planet Namek as him and his men went and they begged the Namekians to let them use the Dragon Balls and with that, they took Frieza to Guru. Guru saw that Frieza was a pure hearted man and he has nothing but pure intentions so he allowed Frieza to use the Dragon Balls. While waiting for the Dragon Balls, Goku and the other Saiyans has now arrived to Planet Namek to get rid of Frieza. Upon their arrival, Broly went and he charged right towards Frieza and tried to hit him but Frieza was far stronger than Broly as he managed to beat the shit out of Broly but from there Broly went and he's transformed to his Super Saiyan while Frieza was holding his own against that. Broly then managed to go and transform into his legendary Super Saiyan as he finally turned the table on Frieza and he began to overpower him. Seeing that he didn't stood a chance against Broly in his final form, Frieza went and took his power to the next level as he is now transformed to his golden form. Upon using his golden form, Frieza managed to go and beat the shit out of Broly as Broly didn't stood a chance against Frieza and from there he knocked him out. Frieza then told Vegeta and the rest of the Saiyans that he had no choice to destroy planet Vegeta because Beerus ordered to do so and that his mission is to kill Beerus. With that he has now got the hands on the Dragon Balls and he wished to be transported to Beerus' world. Upon arriving to Beerus' world, Frieza then told Whis to bring Beerus so they could fight one on one. Find out what happens inside this part. What if Frieza became good? Part 4 Oh really? Well then, why don't you show me what kind of power you got then, Frieza? Ha! Ah, oh, well, Beerus, after all, I came here so I can kill you, and now I'm gonna be taking your place as the next destroyer and make sure this universe is ruled with the proper way. I'm gonna get rid of all the monsters like you. Is that so? Are you really, Frieza? What the hell kind of talk is this, saving the universe and stuff? Just shut up and show me your power! As Frieza went and he powered up his key and with that he rushed right towards Beerus and striked him in the face. Beerus tried to block it but Frieza's punch had a lot of force to it which got Beerus to break his guard and with that he got punched in the face as he got sent flying. Beerus then tried to stop himself and said, not bad Frieza, how oh, about I use more power than myself. Beerus has now used his full power. I am amazed Frieza you managed to push me this far in power. I'm excited to see what kind of power you got then. I see. So before Frieza can finish his sentence, Beerus decked him in his face as he got sent flying meters away. Frieza tried to get up but Beerus wouldn't allow him to get up as he kept coming in front of him and he continued to stomp him down. With that Frieza began to laugh and say, not bad Beerus. But I also have more power than this. Behold! <laughs> Frieza has now transformed into his golden form as his power was off the chart and with that he charged right towards Beerus. Beerus did the same and both of their power clashed with one another and they were going back and forth. With each landing blow the entire planet was shaking while Whis was really impressed with Frieza's power as he couldn't believe that Frieza was able to hold his own against a full power Beerus and with that Frieza went and he uppercut Beerus 
as he got sent flying high in the air and before he could follow. With that, Beerus went and kicked him right in Frieza's face, as Frieza managed to brush it off and from there, he went and rushed right towards Beerus and continued to hit him. Beerus was amazed with Frieza's power and said, Do you think you could beat me with this type of power? Ha! <laughs> You're kidding yourself, Frieza. Now let me show you the true wrath of Lord Beerus. So you say you have more power than this, huh? Then why didn't you use it from the start? Why would I waste my power on someone like you? But I guess I have underestimated you. Behold the true power of why I'm the strongest destroyer. Beerus has now gone and used his Ultra Instinct. You see this power, Frieza? This is the reason why I'm the strongest destroyer. Frieza was shocked on seeing Beerus' power and before he could do anything, Beerus charged right at him and striked Frieza, getting Frieza to be sent flying towards the ground. Frieza then got up and saw that Beerus was already there, as he tried to hit him with everything he's got but Beerus was dodging all of his attacks like if they were nothing. Beerus inside his Ultra Instinct was too fast and too skilled for Golden Frieza to handle. As Frieza saw that he wasn't able to hit him and from there, he began to laugh and say, <laughs> I knew you would be this strong before I entered a battle. That is the reason why I came prepared. Okay then, I have heard enough Frieza. It is time I Hakai you and end this once and for all. Beerus came right next to Frieza as he was about to go and Hakai him and said, you were one strong bastard, but at the end of the day, you fell short to Lord Beerus. I'll never forget our fright, Frieza. As he was about to go and Hakai Frieza, but with that, Frieza went and he screamed. Frieza has now transformed into a new form which has never been seen before as his key has risen so much and with that he looked right towards Beerus and said Let me introduce you to my new power Beerus, you can call this Frieza Black What the hell? You don't know when to quit do you huh? Before Beerus can do anything, Frieza went and he struck Beerus right in the guts getting Beerus to gap for air but he followed with a punch as Beerus got sent flying meters away. Beerus after getting up was shocked on Frieza's power as he couldn't believe that Frieza has gotten this strong and with that, Frieza laughed and said, Ha ha ha, I told you Beerus, I have come prepared, now die. Frieza went and charged right towards Beerus and he began beating the shit out of him. Beerus' power was too slow compared to Frieza's black power as Frieza was able to power up and overpower him inside his Ultra Instinct while using his black form and with that, he went and powered up an enormous blast and said, It is time I become the destroyer for Universe 7. With that, he aimed the blast right towards Beerus. As it hit him head on, Beerus tried to dodge it but he couldn't. Since Frieza is much stronger than him, he managed to go and kill Beerus right there. Frieza using his black form managed to go and put an end towards Beerus' life once and for all as he didn't stand a chance against him and with that, Weez was very impressed as he smiled and said, It is time you become the next destroyer, Frieza. In return, I will train you myself. How's that? Huh? You will train me? Are you even that strong? <laughs> I'm the one who trained Lord Beerus. What? No way! Of course then! Let's train! As Weez went and he told Dai Shikin through his staff about Frieza being the new destroyer for Universe 7 and with that, his link with the Supreme Kai has now happened. And as you know it, Frieza began training with Weez and they spent over years training non-stop. With that, Frieza who trained alone became this strong, just imagine how powerful he'll be when he's training with an angel like Weez. And not just physical training, Weez has also trained Frieza to destroy her way and taught him and told him everything he needs to know about what to do as he becomes the destroyer and what is the stuff he needs to avoid and stuff like that as he educated Frieza well and now Frieza has now took the mantle of being the destroyer for Universe 7. With that his very first task as a destroyer was to go and eliminate Majin Buu but before doing so he had to attend a destroyer meeting 
where he went and he attended that meeting and he met with all the destroyer from each of the universe and one of them was very mad at Frieza as he wanted to kill him and he was no one other than Champa, Beerus' brother after all. He did make a vow to end Frieza's life at any cost since Frieza did kill his brother. Before everyone came back, Frieza wanted to show his new army his new rank as he wanted to bring Zarbon and Dodoria with him so they can also train and get as strong. Whis agreed to do so and he decided to help them achieve God Key. Frieza then brought them back to his world as they were all shocked and couldn't believe that Frieza is actually a destroyer and from there they all began training with Whis. Frieza on the other hand has a task as he managed to go find where Majin Buu is since Supreme Kai is linked with him. He told Frieza his suspicion on Majin Buu being on planet earth and when they checked the crystal ball, Supreme Kai was shocked to see that Majin Buu was already hatched and he was fighting with the Z fighters. Frieza then got Supreme Kai to Kai Kai him to planet earth. As Supreme Kai has now Kai Kai him to planet earth and he saw that Majin Buu was there inside his super Buu form and he was beating the light out of Goku and Vegeta. But then Broly was inside his legendary Super Saiyan and he started to beat the shit out of Boo. But before anything could happen, everyone saw that Frieza has arrived. As he went and he decked Boo down and said, Majin Boo, I have been searching you for my entire life and now that I have found you, you're done. Frieza went and he Hawkeyed Majin Boo, as it was his very first Hawkeye and from there Majin Boo has now been erased from existence. Mission accomplished. I have eliminated Beerus and Majin Buu. What? How did you do that? And what are you doing here, Frieza? I have Hawkeyed him, which means erase him from existence. And also, I have now become the god, or a destroyer god, whatever you want to call it. And my goal is to destroy all evil. And he was definitely evil. <laughs> Whoa! So you're a god now? Oh my god! Hey, can we please fight, pretty please? <laughs> Sure, as Frieza and Goku began sparring but Frieza managed to go and one shot him down. With that Goku got up as he was amazed with Frieza's power and he asked him if Frieza can train him. Frieza then decided to take Goku along with him to his planet but from there Broly and Vegeta wanted to come too so they can get as strong as he has agreed to take all of them back to his world. Find out what happens as the adventure continues of Frieza being a destroyer for Universe 7. What will take place in the finale? For that, you're going to have to click the bell so you'll be the first time my next episode comes out. And if you haven't, join my Discord server yet. What are you guys waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it. And please subscribe to my boy Vegeta T23. Help him get up to 10,000 subscribers. Please everyone, subscribe to Goku T23. Trust me, you won't regret it. And if you haven't already, please click the bell. That way you will be notified when the next video comes out. Trust me, click the bell. It's worth your time. And if you feel like this channel isn't for you in the future, you can always unsubscribe.